moment, or have you kind of coached yourself not to do that? I mean, I don't like to compare nobody. So when comparing them, you have to put more pressure on these quarterbacks who are coming in and picking up a big role because we need whoever's starting this year to come through for us. So comparing somebody wouldn't be the best thing for this situation. You get a new offensive coordinator this year, but you already know Coach Kodowski. Any part of you that says, give me this many carries, I want the ball, that sort of thing, or do you trust he'll take care of that? I trust uh, the coaches. I trust they come up with the right game plan. They're going to put everybody in the best situation. Let's say you get 25, 30 carries on some games this year. How do you prepare your body for the workload for that differently in this offseason? I'm just staying in the training room, um, staying on top of my body. Um, like Coach Mason said, my body is my job. So I'll uh, make sure I'm healthy at all times. If anything is going wrong, get to the training. You, you had great yards per carry average as it was last year. This year you're going to have the – the threat at least of a quarterback who can run on some of the read option stuff. How much do you think that's going to help you out? I mean, that's going to help a lot. Uh, being having a running quarterback, it opens up a lot. And the team's got to respect everything that comes with this team, passing, and running, and got a quarterback who can run. So that's just a good thing. That's just extra bonuses for this team. You showed some ability to catch the ball and do some things with it last year. Is that more part of your game this year? Oh, uh, yeah. I've, I've been in, in the lab crafting on uh, catching the ball all summer, really since about years now, like since I entered college. So that's been a big thing I've emphasized since I've stepped into college. You've got a new right tackle, a new center, maybe one new guard. How much does the play of that offensive line and them kind of gelling together, how, how critical is that to how much success you can have? Uh, um, the O line is the biggest part of the offense. If, um, it starts up front. If, if, if O line is not focus locked in, understanding the game plan, then we have nothing. So making sure the O-line is all locked in and tuned in, that's the biggest part of this offense right now. You had a couple games last year that you didn't finish, got dinged along the way. How much does that bother you and, and how much do you intend to sort of be there from start to finish all season? I mean, it's like games are just part of the game, so you, that's the the small stuff you can't control, but like the stuff I could control, I finished the game. So like I just control what I can't control. I asked the other two, you three have been sort of the spokesman for this team. You you like this role? You comfortable with it? I mean, I, like I have, I had to become like more of a verbal leader on this team. So like I've become more comfortable with it. And like every day I'm challenging myself to just get more comfortable with stepping in front of the team. Even like when coaches there and just talking to the teams, like. I feel like, like like those who got big presence on this team need to be heard so they'll just trickle down and bring everybody on the team joy. For you in making the decision to come back, what all did you look at and, and how long did it take you to make that decision? I looked at a lot of things. Um, as far as like my draft grade while I was on the draft, um, like knowing I deserve more than the draft grade that I got. So that's one thing. And then I get to graduate in December from Vanderbilt with a degree. So, I mean, it's a win-win situation.